A budget hearing started for the city of Cleveland. There were some heated discussion. And it's only day one. Only day one. Mayor Bibb spent over four hours in the hot seat as city council members questioned parts of his spending plan. That's right. Here's investigator Gabby Hart with a recap of the issue that took the main stage during today's hearing. Freeing up funds to get the job done. That's the idea behind the so-called vacancy pool outlined in Mayor Justin Bibb's 2024 budget proposal. But some Cleveland City Council members, well, they're still struggling with that concept. It's no secret, council has some concerns about the vacancy pool. I can't understand for the life of me how this is going to work. The vacancy pool would put the budget for unfilled city jobs into one fund. For example, the current structure is if the Public Works Department has 65 vacancies that they can't or don't need to fill, that money still can't be touched because it's only budgeted for Public Works positions. But under the new concept, vacant positions would go into one big pool so that any department with hiring needs could dip into it. During today's budget hearing, the mayor said most city departments never meet their hiring goals, and that leaves money locked up instead of using it to deploy resources to where they're needed most. We want to put the capital to hire folks in this pool so we could have that flexibility. So if there's a major issue in public health and they may have budgeted for five, but now they need five more for lead inspection, we can deploy those five. <laughs> Police, fire, and EMS vacancies are not a part of the vacancy pool concept, but getting rid of unfilled public safety positions is a part of the proposed budget. The mayor says having realistic hiring goals for police has allowed the city to reinvest in its current workforce with a 25% pay increase and retention bonuses. None of that would have been possible if we did not eliminate ghost vacancies that we had no plan for or was not even realistic to hire. We would be sitting right now talking about potential layoffs with no incentives for police recruitment. Well, budget hearings will continue tomorrow morning and run into next week. Now, public safety is top of the agenda for tomorrow. We will keep you up to date every step of the way, of course, right here and on Cleveland19.com. For now, I'm in the newsroom, Gabby Hart, 19 News.